You don't know what to do with your old school supplies? We have a ton of doll furniture ideas for cases like this! Our new Lalaloo video will help you take a look at regular things from a different perspective! Moving is pretty hard because you need to say goodbye to your old home and your old stuff! Well, hang on! One box is missing! It has to be here somewhere! Phew! What a relief! All my best childhood memories are in this box! Let's open them first! Charlie loved dogs when he was a kid and he was even going to become a vet! And what's at the very bottom? These are his drawings! This is the way Charlie imagined adult life! And there's a pile of old school supplies here! I can play an interior designer again! Let's start with something simple! Glue a couple of pencils crosswise. And another couple. Now we just have to join two pieces with a rod. Apply glue to the joints and put on another pencil across. We got a piece that looks like a swing. Apply hot glue to a piece of fabric and fold up the edges. Put toothpicks onto opposite edges and wrap them inside. Take a ribbon and try it on. Do the same on the other side. Now we just put the hammock onto the pencil stands. So it's time for a test drive! LOL is swinging in the hammock and reading a book. She liked it so much that she spent her whole day in it! Now that's quite a willpower! Tie pencils together with rubber bands. Turn them into different directions so you get a stand for a wigwam. Make the pieces stronger with hot glue at where the pencils intersect. Sketch out a half circle on a piece of fabric and cut it out. Wrap the pencil stand in the fabric. Fasten one edge with sewing pins and hot glue the other end to the stand. Cut off the protruding edge of the fabric. Outline the wigwam on fabric leftovers. Apply hot glue to the joint of the pencils and the sides near it and add a rectangular piece. Roll a triangular piece of fabric. Remove the rubber bands. Wrap the roll around the pencils and attach pom-poms over the entrance. Cut out the entrance into the wigwam with scissors. Hot glue the edges of the entrance to the sides. Outline the surface of the floor on fabric with a pencil. Hot glue the circles to each other. Now LOL has a place to hide from rain and heat. Look, there is also some space for a friend. <laughs> We'll need an old stationary organizer. Remove all the unnecessary stuff. It's everything in our case. Put a sponge into the post-it note section. Add cuts to fit it in and remove the excess. One section is done. Fill the next one in a similar way. We'll use an empty pencil box for the third section. Cut it so it fits in. Wrap the pencil box in glittery sticker paper. Don't forget about the sides. Hot glue a glittery platform to the organizer. Cut off a piece of glittery cardboard. Wrap the pencil section into red mirror cardboard. Take the sponges out of the post-it note section and wrap them in blue foam paper. Place a ruler between the first and the second section. Cut off the excess part of the ruler. Apply hot glue to the side facet and join it to the main piece. Wrap sponge in fabric, add a blanket, and a pillow. The bed is done! Measure the height from the bottom to the top section. We have two inches. Cut two pencils and glue counting rods between them. A ladder is done! Hot glue rectangular pieces of fabric to each other on three sides. 
Stuff the cubes of sponge through the hole. We made a few pillows from different fabric this way. In order to make a mini cup for pencils, you just need to take a plug off a pen. A toy lion and an elephant are actually erasers. But it doesn't mean LOL can't play with them. <laughs> our playroom is done! Here we have everything our little LOL may need! Place a mini stapler box onto a piece of blue foam paper and trace the outer edges. Apply a glue stick to the surface and wrap the box into it. Cut off the excess. Trace the sides on foam paper and cut them out. Hot glue the remaining pieces. Attach four beads at the top as burners. Print out and attach a picture of an oven. Use thumbtacks for control knobs. One thumbtack for each burner. Separate the handles from the thumbtacks with cutting pliers. Our stove is done! The doll can finally get down to cooking her masterpieces! But first, let's have some tea! Take a box from a business card holder and wrap it in sticky paper. Cut the edges and bend them inside. Take the wax base out of a tea light. Trace the circle on the box and cut out a hole. We don't cut it out till the very end as it's gonna be a door. This way, it can open. Cut out a smaller hole in the center. This time, we cut it out completely. Use strips of tape to cover the door of the washing machine. Remove the excess. Open the box and apply hot glue along the inner side. Fasten the tea light mold to be a tub. Decorate the outside with glitter. Cover the top of the washing machine with gray tape. Cut the edges of the tape so you can fold it. Now place a laundry detergent compartment on the panel made from colored cardboard and two thumbtacks as control knobs. Done! It's laundry time! Take everything out of a pencil case. Take a piece of fabric and outline it, leaving some extra around the edges. Cut the piece out. Apply hot glue to the edges of the pencil case and attach the fabric to it. Now we'll need polyester fiber filling to tuck it inside. Once you are done, glue the edges shut. Outline another piece of fabric and glue it to the back of the pencil case. Cut an eraser into parts so their height is identical. Attach them as legs. Let's make a few cushions. A couch for a doll is done! For the next DIY, we can't do without an old pencil sharpener. Attach two strips of double-sided tape to the back of a piece of patterned paper. Remove the excess with scissors. Cover the see-through part of a pencil sharpener with it. Cut strips of glittery sticker foam paper for the frame of our future TV. Make control knobs from the handles of thumbtacks and hot glue them to the front panel. It's time to take care of a TV stand. We'll need a business card holder. Cut the needles off thumbtacks and hot glue the handles to the front of the card holder. Having a TV is nice, but you can't forget about books. Luckily, we have a place to store them. Measure pieces of different length on wooden rulers. We need six two-inch strips, four four-inch strips, and two six-inch strips. 
Apply hot glue to the side of the short pieces and attach a 4-inch piece to them. Use short pieces for horizontal shelves and the middle pieces for vertical divisions. Make the top and the bottom caps from the longest pieces. Coat the whole piece with pink acrylic paint. Our doll bookcase is done! Now we can fill in the shelves! Did you like our ideas of doll furniture from old school supplies? Then subscribe to our channel Lalaloo and don't forget to click on the bell!